So this is a reasoning question from chapter direction asked by UPSC in their C set paper of 2011. See in exam question ko shanti se patiently hai. Tabhi we can understand it, right? Otherwise questions nahi hoga solve exam mein, right? The house of A and B faces each other on a road going north south. So I have told you like whenever we see a direction question we will draw this right this is north this is south this is east this is west right so the house of ab are on a north south so this is north south so a and b house are face each other right so suppose here a is being on the west side so a is on the west side so this side will be a a comes out of his house a comes out of his house right so when he comes out of his house so he will face east right he turns left so he is facing this side so if he is taking turn left means he is going this side right travels 5 kilometers so he is traveling 5 kilometers and then turn right so he is facing this this side so he is taking right turn means this side he will go this side right turn right travel 5 km and again traveling 5 km ok to the front of D's house so here is D's house this is the front of D's house Okay, B does exactly the same. So B is B yahi kar hai jo A ne kiya. right? So B is here, right? So B will come out of his house. He will come out of his house, so he will face this side, right? So he will take what A did, right? So what A did? He come out of his house and turn left. So B will come out of his house and take left turn. So left turn means he will go this side, right? So he is going this side, and then now B is facing this side right now we will take right turn okay so we will go this side right and he reaches the front of c's house so he is also walking 5 km here this is also 5 and this is house of c in this context which one of the following statement is correct right now we have to check all the statement right because they are asking which one of the following statement is correct c and d live on the same street are they living in the same street? No. So this is wrong at all together, right? C's house faces south. So C's house is this side. C house faces east, right? Because we have east direction here. So this is also wrong. The house of C and D are less than 20 km apart. So we have to check the distance. Like this distance, we have to check, right? This one. What is the distance between C and D? Right, so the this statement say, is saying like this is less than 20 kilometers. So now we have to find out this distance. So how we will find out? Right, so we will use the Pythagoras theorem. See, Pythagoras theorem is very easy, right? And we have read it in schools. Okay, so don't get confused or don't think it's hard. Right, see nothing we have to do. Like we have to find out CD. So suppose this is O. So what we have to find out? We have to find out CO and OD right then we can apply the Pythagoras theorem so how we can find out CO like here till here suppose this is point P CP we know 5 and we also know this distance this is 5 so this will also be 5 right this is 5 right so till here this will be 5 and this is also 5 so this will also be 5 so the total will be 10 this was easy like and this total is also 10 okay so now the CD distance we will using the Pythagoras theorem. CD square is equal to OD square plus CO square. OD is 10 square plus this is also 10 square. Right. So it will become 2 into 10 square. Right. CD square. Then CD we have to find out. So CD will become under root 2 and when we will apply the square root of this, this will come out 10. Right. So the distance will be 10 square root 2 right square root 2 is how much 1.44 so we will multiply it with 1.44 right so we can no need to calculate all this right you can simply say this is less than 20 kilometers so this statement is right or wrong we have to just check so this is less than 20 kilometers so this statement is right okay so the distance between c and d is less than 20 kilometers okay so this will be the answer. So option C is the answer.